Hello, and welcome to this episode of Budget Meals and Snacks. Today, we are going to make a delicious chickpea salad. For this recipe, we will need a crown of broccoli, feta cheese, one can of chickpeas, garlic, one or two cloves, half a bunch of Italian parsley, one lemon, one red bell pepper, a little bit of black pepper, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, six tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of honey, and a pinch of salt. To get started, we're going to add a little bit of water to a medium saucepan. You don't need too much, we're just using it for a very little while, so bring that to a boil and then wash all of your produce. While you're waiting for the water to boil, you can chop up your broccoli. Just chop them up into nice bite-sized pieces, and then once that water has come to a boil, you're going to put them in just for a minute or two to cook them slightly. While I'm waiting for it to boil, I'm also going to start making the dressing. So right now I am zesting the lemon. That's when you use, um, this thing is called a zester. It looks like a cheese grater, but with much smaller holes. If you don't have a zester, you can also use a steak knife just by dragging the knife back and forth over the lemon just to get all of that peel off in tiny little pieces. And then you are also going to cut the lemon in half and get the juice out of it for the dressing. I actually forgot that until the very end, um, but you can do that now if you like. Once your water is rapidly boiling, you're going to add in your broccoli and you're just going to keep it in there for one or two minutes until your broccoli turns a bright green, but you don't want to let it get overcooked or mushy. When it's done, strain it and set it aside. Now we continue on with our dressing. So now I'm going to peel, crush, and chop all of my garlic. I use two cloves because I really like garlic. So uh, once you have that all chopped up, you're gonna add that into your small bowl for the dressing. And now we add our olive oil, Dijon mustard, and honey. You can also shake a little bit of black pepper and salt in there too. Now that your salad dressing ingredients are all combined, give it a good mix and set it aside. Now you're going to chop up all the rest of your ingredients and add them into your bowl. 
I chopped up my parsley very roughly and I left a few stems in there and I actually found that that was not ideal for this salad. Um, if I were you, I would chop them up very finely so it's just like a little, little bits of parsley throughout. I actually went back with scissors after and chopped it all up when I was eating it. <laughs> you can chop up your peppers into nice bite-sized pieces. Next, you're going to open your can of chickpeas and wash them thoroughly in cold water. This will get all of that kind of juice off of it. And then you're going to pour them directly into the salad dressing that you made and give that a really good mix. Let the chickpeas sit in the salad dressing for a little while while you're chopping up the rest. And now you can chop up or crumble your feta, whichever you prefer. I didn't really give an amount. I would say uh, measure with your heart because feta is delicious and use as much of it as you like. You can combine all of your ingredients into the same bowl, give it a good mix, and you're ready to serve. And there you go, a delicious chickpea, broccoli, parsley, pepper salad. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. And here's the directions in case you want to make it again. Bye now.